Hi guys, it's Brooklyn and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I make videos twice a week, so on Tuesdays and on Fridays. And if you're a turn subscriber, thank you so so much for your continued love and support of my channel. And I'm really hoping you're enjoying my content. Sorry, that was my fiance putting the PlayStation on there. <laughs> put his earphones in because, yeah, just doesn't want any noise in the background. So today's video is going to be a uh, December 2020 beauty favourite. So I've got all the stuff on the bed now. I've got like a load of makeup, hair color. Do I have some skin color? I don't know though. I don't really think I do. I do definitely have hair color makeup so it's a load of that. And yeah, if you're wondering, I'm having a gin, pink gin with Coke Zero. Or it's Pepsi Max, same kind of thing. I really, there's not much difference between them both. But they're nice anyway. But and by the way, I'm filming on New Year's Eve and I hope you've had a really, really nice New Year and I hope 2020 brings you a load of joy and happiness. So yeah, cheers to that. Ah. Okay, so back on to the favourites. I'm going to start with her curl. The first thing I have is this um, John Frieda Defy Grey Colour Deposit and Conditioner. So basically it's for brunettes, so like, I like the dark brown and it's basically designed for grey hair so say for instance you're not really too keen on colouring your hair and like your natural hair colour but you're starting to get a few greys coming through which is not my case just putting out there it's not my case this is all fake this colour is all fake i'm naturally like a dark blonde it's not a nice blonde it's not like that bright pretty blonde so i either have to go bright bright blonde or like really dark brown i think medium like brown and just like light brown, dark blonde, medium blonde, don't really suit my complexion. Like, just dulls me out, especially when I have no tan on. So, because my hair is coloured and because I have blonde hair like a year and a half ago, and the bleach is still in it from about here down, I have to tone my hair. Well, yeah, tone it and um, put pigment back in because this part is porous, like really down here. I have to always put a colour deposit in hair products like colour deposit and shampoo, conditioner and masks and stuff to keep it like this nice rich dark brown. Now to be fair the dark brown like the black brown colour lasts a lot longer than the black violet and even the red. I had red before, her before I was blue. I had red hair before it was dark. But this um grip defy grey shampoo this defy grey conditioner sorry this helps put the pigment back in her it actually gives you more of a warmth like a warm chocolate brown which is nice but i think after this up i'm gonna just start just using more of my maria neela color refresh and black in place of this because i'm gonna start to go for more of a cool tone and this is where this product comes in so the grey defy is perfect for like warmer brunettes but if you're looking for something like that more ashier more black more kind of like cool brown this Matrix Dark Envy, it is brilliant. Now, I have been cheeky and I have been using this more. <laughs> but you can use this with this, but you can use this with this, but um, I would recommend using like their mask that comes with this or a conditioner. But yeah, <laughs> I remember buying this when it was on offer on Black Friday. I said, right, I've always wanted to try this because it come up in recommendations when I typed in dark brunette shampoo colour depositing this one came up and I was like hmm wonder what that is dark envy and it actually is a green toning shampoo you've all heard if even especially if you're bright blonde bleaching it you've all heard of purple shampoo and even blue shampoo if you're like blonde or brunette but you've never heard of green shampoo I don't know if you have or you haven't but it's less spoke about but I think it's more of a newer thing like it's a newer thing that's been brought in the shampoos so Matrix came out this year with this Dark Envy range. They have a shampoo, conditioner and a mask. I believe the shampoo and the mask is called deposit. The conditioner is just more of a nourishing. I am desperate to try out the conditioner and the mask, but I do not need to try any or do not need to buy any more hair products until I use things up. So hold myself back. But the reason why I was like being a bit cheeky using this now because I told myself. I'm not going to use this touch of shampoo until I've used up my um, Charles Wormington brunette shampoo because I bought that one first and I just believe in using things up. But because I'm a bit cheeky, I just thought I might as well. Actually, it was because I'm going to go on a night out with my friends a few weeks ago, Amy and Marina, and I was like, should I use this? It's actually in my vlogmas week too. 
and I just decided to use it and I absolutely love it. It definitely does tone your hair. Now bear in mind there is a slight bit of green to it, it isn't like awful looking. There's a slight bit of green sheen to it, like a cool tone sheen to it, but I don't mind that. It's actually nice, but just be aware, especially if you have a lighter brunette, I would say, don't touch it. If you're any lighter than a base 4, it's definitely designed for base 4 to base 1, which is black. So, like, I mean, in the dark brown to black, that's what it's designed for. It is amazing. It isn't too expensive either. I think it's about £11 for this bottle. I don't know. I will try to put the thing up there. But I am going to try to use up my Charles Warrington before I even touch more of this. But let's see how long that lasts. Yeah, because you, you can actually see like, the sheen on my hair now because of this shampoo. I didn't use it the time I washed my hair yesterday. I used it the time before that. So it's still on my hair. But this is amazing. I did use this on my hair when I washed it like yesterday. So yeah, both of these products are brilliant. But it just depends on what kind of look you're going for. Like a warmer tone, go for products like this, a brown colour deposit. There's loads of them on the market. If you're looking for a cool tone, definitely go for Dark Envy. Or if your hair is like a leather brunette, go for like LR Blue Shampoo. So for instance, Provoke have one. Um, I think, who else does? Matrix actually have. Um, Brass Off, their range is good for like, like, a, like a brunette to like a dark blonde. Um, the Matrix Brass Off's good. Um, what are the There's all different ones. Charles Warren can also have a one, like it's a blue shampoo. So, it's brilliant. Brands are starting to come out with more like toning shampoos, which is amazing for like different hair colours. Because if you do have like bleach in your hair, like you do know the struggle of keeping colour in your hair, but these just help. So, that was long. I know I just couldn't ramble on for days. I'm sorry about that. But that's the end of more hair care. So, Another product by Matrix is its um, Merkel Creator 20. It's their um, leave-in conditioner, so basically total results, Merkel Creator 20. Basically has, I think it's 20 benefits, I don't know, 20 benefits in one. I know it's a heat protectant, it's meant to make your hair shiny, smooth. It's meant to condition your hair, protect your hair from heat. Or I said that, I don't know. But it's meant to just really kind of repair damage, do all that stuff, all good stuff in it. And I've used a fair bit of this. This stuff is amazing. It is one of the best, if not the best, like leave-in conditioning sprays I've tried. I've tried loads. This one I will definitely be getting from now on. It's holy grail. I absolutely love it. And it isn't that expensive either. I don't know, I think it's about seven or pounds. It is a bit dear than like your L'Oreal or like like your L'Oreal um when you're getting boots or like your um Tresemme or something like that, but it is worth it because it's if you don't want to pay separately for like a heat protectant, it's all in one basically one spray conditions your hair, protects your hair from heat and stuff like that. This stuff is amazing. I think it even smells nice too. Yeah, it smells amazing. I'll see if I can smell anything off these products, but that one's has a slight floral. This one has a slight floral scent to it. I'll smell this one. I'm trying to get over a camera. <coughs> has like a bit of a floral like um old floral scent to it but it's nice or not like overpowering smells but the nice smells last hair care product you'll be glad to know <laughs> is this um lee stafford hair growth um scalp serum so basically it's called their um pro growth complex just basically a wee scalp serum yeah pretty much so basically what you do with this every night use one or two pipettes, so basically it's like a wee pipette. I think this is about ten pound or something like that. You just like squeeze the pipette and get the product on that pipette and you kinda of separate your hair and just kinda of line it through each kind of section and then you just rub it through, massage it through with your fingers. You can just put a bit on your fingers and rub it through your scalp too. Either way. I like to focus this more on like the hairline and especially like these parts here, like the fine the parts like behind my ear, that wee part and hit that wee part, tends to be not as dense as the top. The top's more dense than my hair, like compared to here. And I like to really thicken up my hair and make my hair, even though flipping thick hair as it is, like it is quite thick. But um, I like to make exaggerate the heck out of that. So yeah, and because I do have a lot of breakage from years of bleaching, that's why it doesn't look as thick as what it should do. Like it looks thick here, but then when it gets to the ends, it's not as 
effect, which is a bit annoying, but uh, break each other out, and that's one of these things that's going to help. So, I definitely find this fills in your hairline. It actually helps your hair grow more and um, it makes your hair feel healthier as it grows out. It's really, really good. My fiance also uses that as well, and he says his hairline's got a lot better as he's been using it. But I would definitely say you have to keep it up, you have to use it like every night or every other night to keep the results up. Obviously it still does last but if you want to get the best results keep it up and it'll really help your hair. I've been using it on and off for like 6 months but I'm starting to really use it strictly because it does help my hairline. Like I have um, a diamond shaped face and when I have blonde hair the hairline didn't look as sharp or filled in so especially a few years ago well before I lost weight the face looked around her anyway but I find when I have dark hair my hair looks filled in especially because of this like using it constantly you can still see like my diamond shaped face I know it's weird I just think weirdly I don't know this stuff's really good for like hair growth and stuff so on to the makeup <laughs> wouldn't you believe so the first thing I've been loving is this eyeshadow palette so I need to take that out of packaging off. I got it from TK Maxx about four months ago, yeah, four months ago. And it is Lissa Edwards Anastasia palette. This packaging is to die for. I absolutely love that pop pink and the black eye like design. It's gorgeous and the gold Alyssa Edwards reflection and here. Packaging for life. I know I just stick it sucked in by the packaging. And these eyeshadows are even more nicer look at them so you have mainly loads of like bright colors but you also have some rituals now to be fair i have been playing about with the bright colors on and off but i haven't been playing about them that much i should do them more i used to go for a phase about a year or two ago like a year and a half or two years or something like that i was wearing bright colors constantly but i haven't really touched them as much recently i should do though because these colors are bomb but i've been loving all the neutrals and also pop of color too but these shadows are really, really good pigmentated. I find Anastasia shadows are. I love their subculture and their um, Norvina palette. I've actually got the subculture here and I've had it for like two years and so on. Out of packaging, I keep the boxes. I'm weird. And most things I do keep the boxes. <laughs> I'm kind of getting out of ha that habit now, but because of the palettes, tend to not stay good for long, especially like the subculture like palettes and them ones. They tend to get muck easy, so I'm keeping that in the box too. Even though it's more like a sturdier packaging, but I'm still keeping it in the box because that packaging is to die for. I particularly love um, that gold and that purple. That like blue purple colour, you can see there. Those colours are really, really nice for like on the lid. I do have some glitter on my hand, so bear that in mind swatching other things but these colours are just gorgeous I absolutely love them I don't know if you can still get this in TK Maxx I think we have it online still I don't know but if you're looking for a colourful palette but not too much of a big palette I would definitely say get this if you're into colour and you want to try an Anastasia palette I would definitely recommend um, the Alyssa Edwards because it's brilliant I would love to try the Riviera palette that was also in TK Maxx like, when I got this but I just picked up the Alyssa Edwards because the packaging drew me in but both palettes look amazing, but this one's really, really versatile. You can do like daytime neutral, right until like nighttime smoky or nighttime bright. Perfect. Perfect for traveling too. So, yeah, I absolutely love it. Another favourite is this amazing foundation. It is the Huda Beauty Full Filter Liquid Foundation. I have it on now. It's the first thing I've mentioned that I actually have on, apart from like the conditioner you got in the shower last yesterday. I was going to say last night, but yesterday, I used that conditioner, like colour depositing one. But this, like a foundation, <laughs> I think I was going to say nail or something like that. This foundation is the bomb. I think it's just as good as like that Too Faced Born This Way foundation, and that is saying something. Because I've been going on and on and on about Too Faced Born This Way foundation, especially like the concealer, I use it as a foundation too. But both of them products, like the regular foundation and the concealer I use as foundation, both of them are amazing. This one's more similar to the one I use as foundation, the concealer, like the full coverage. But this Huda Beauty Full Filter has been out for a few years. And I've been meaning to try it for a few years and I just got myself around to trying it. 
because I got a wee gift voucher from a support worker a few weeks ago and I bought it when I was in town with my friend Amy and Amy tried out Too Faced Born Sway Foundation and she loved it too but next time Amy if you're looking to get a foundation try this one out too you'll love it <laughs> but yeah I've got the shade Beck Levar it's the one Charlotte Holcroft uses and it's perfect for my like fake tan skin and a good tail like a good <laughs> a good tail what a good sign that I love a product is then when I buy like two shades so I've actually bought myself um one from a natural skin tone even though I would never really wear my skin natural but it's mainly just to mix the two together because obviously my tan doesn't look as dark like this all the time and sometimes I like to have foundation on even in between or near enough for pale skin <laughs> so I've got the shade vanilla too but this is Beck Leva. if I was going to get one from in between which I don't think there's much point I would choose to see the latte because it's that medium tan colour but this is perfect, perfect match. It's really, really airbrush and flawless looking. I will do a comparison with this to the Too Faced Born This Way. It's closer to the shade Latte than the shade Sam, but I will just do both, even like the concealer as foundation, both of them like in separate videos to see which one I prefer. And if this one wins, I could actually wear this on my wedding day. <laughs> this could be actually my legit wedding foundation, which I'm holding in my hand, and that is an exciting thought. Yeah, I just love it. It's amazing. It's perfect for nights out. You can use it for the day. I do tend to build it up for two pumps because more uh, full coverage. But yeah, I absolutely love this foundation. It's amazing. Definitely try it. Okay, the next favourite I have is this glitter. So it's the Glitter Eyeshadow by e.l.f. I don't know the exact name, what it's called the description of the product, but this one, the shade names fairly burly but this is like basically their drip of the sealer glitter and glows this glitter eyeshadow was amazing i've been using it in a couple of my looks like lately especially it's a nice kind of rose gold champagne color you can see it there if i can show you can you see that i don't know i'll blend it out because it's not showing yeah you can see it kind of now it is a gorgeous glitter. I don't have it on now, like, but I do have a glitter eyeshadow on too, like, from a different palette. But this stuff does last on the eye. I find it's only five pounds from Elf, but it's a really, really good eyeshadow topper. I like to do like a wee makeup look and then put this on over the top for like a glitter effect. It will take any eyeshadow look. Say, for instance, you have a wee plain neutral eyeshadow look on. Putting this over the top of like say a shimmer eyeshadow or even the matte one it brings up the from day to night like it literally adds that extra sparkle i do have the shade was it like what's it called disco cream oh no bling bling i have bling bling which is more that white um silver color which is nice too i do prefer like the opacity of fairly pretty compared to bling bling so i find this one goes on more opaque but this is amazing i absolutely love them I do have darker shades and tended to try out their navy and their black and stuff like that but this one I love it especially good for like festive season even though it's nearly over but sure parties for the year when we can have parties because of this whole corona crap going on but yeah this is really good even if you want to put a bit of glitter on your eyes sit in the house just go for it so on to the second last favourite so this is a wee lip kit so basically I don't have the original packaging it came in like a a box packaging this is a lip kit by Bella Pierre I'm not entirely sure the name like the actual shade name but it's just their lip kit they have their kiss proof lip cream they have their like sealing gloss and also like their lip liner this is the most perfect red lip I absolutely love it it's the red lip of dreams it has that bright red lip look to it it isn't like a really, really dark one it's more like a bright but still fairly wearable I'm not entirely sure the actual name of it let's say I do have loads of shades in this I'm trying to see if I can find the body name be so helpful if I could blanker problems doesn't help either but I will try to like put a name here if I can find it I do have like nice pinks nice nudes nice dark ones I even have ombre ones too you can get these from TK Maxx and also Brand Max. I got this as a Christmas present two years ago. And 
I've already, like, you, I used it a couple of times for these two years. The camera kind of like, but I was saying I did use it in a couple of looks, like, a couple of times throughout the um, past two years. But once November hit, I busted this kit out and I was using it, like, in a couple of looks and a couple of few days throughout November and December. This red lip kit is the red lip kit of dreams. I absolutely love it. It's very flattering on my, like, tan skin tone. I think it would be with my pale skin. I haven't tried it out in my pale skin, but... I know these types of red suit me no matter what if I'm pale or tanned but this lip kit is amazing it is bulletproof it doesn't move now if you're having a greasy meal it will move but it does last for a night out and stuff like that I absolutely love it I did wear it when I went out a couple of weeks ago in the town from friends and it lasted so it did, I did have to touch it up once but it did last a good amount of time it is really, really good I absolutely love it sometimes I do wear it matte and sometimes I do do wear it for the gloss. I only recently started wearing it for the gloss, but before that I was just wearing it matte. But the gloss is actually nice too. I used to think the gloss is a bit more of a useless kind of thing, but it actually sealed it in. I do find it lasts really well for matte too, but I find the gloss does seal it in as well, if that makes sense. It makes it feel more comfortable. With the matte, wearing it matte, it feels more like the Maybelline matte inks, which are really, really nice, but the gloss makes it feel more like a kind of lip balm texture, which is lovely. So yeah, I love the way they can, I love the way they include a lip liner because it's perfect for like overlining your lips and lining your lips and getting that shape sharp before you put on your liquid lipstick and your lip gloss even though I find liquid lipstick easier to like overline your lips and make them look better because I have naturally crap lips and using like liquid lipstick just helps them. I need to get them done again too with filler but I'm waiting until before my wedding to get that done but yeah, this lip kit is brilliant. So, last product I have to show you is this eyeliner. It's the uh, um, Scandalized, Rimmel Scandalized um, Liquid Felt Tip Liner. It is brilliant. It's so black. So, it's a nice thin tip. And I have one now, like, this line my lashes. Well, line my lashes, line my flipping lid. And also a flip, just on the wee winged liner. Winged eyeliner, speak of speak. But, yeah, it's a nice pure black liner I got this last month because I had my Gerard Cosmetics liquid eyeliner for over a year and I just thought it's time to film and place it even though it was going strong but I don't like to keep things like especially things for around the eyes like eyeliner and mascara I don't mind eyeshadow so much but eyeliner and mascara I like to replace that frequently because it's not good to keep using an old eyeliner and mascara on your eyes because your eyes are like a delicate part of your body <laughs> but yeah this stuff's really good. It does last all day on your eyes and sometimes I do find my eyes are watery and this one doesn't budge. I love their pencil eyeliner, like their pencil eyeliner version of this. That one's really, really good for lasting too. So that and this liquid pencil, liquid pencil, liquid, pe liquid pen, a dream team for like lining your eyes. Perfect. So yeah, <coughs> that's all my favourites. I'm going to have another wee drink. <laughs> So, I hope you enjoyed this video, hope I didn't ramble on too much, and I'll see you again from next one. Stay gorgeous, bye, and Happy New Year! <laughs> Can you believe it, 2021, a couple of hours away. But yeah, I hope you had a nice new year, and 2021 brings you all the happiness. I said this at the start of the video, I won't go ahead again, because that's me, I ramble. So, bye! <laughs>